Um, just injury update. Kenny's got a hip. Um, Quiddy's got a quad. Those are the two guys. Um, the music in there going loud right now. Um, good team win. I mean, shoot, they're hard to come by sometimes in this league. Um, but guys played hard. Defense played their tails off. I think 63 yards on the ground, three takeaways. Um, hell of a job by those guys. Um, but, you know, stuff to clean up. But good to get the first one for sure. What did it mean for the defense to have that goal line stand? It was huge. Obviously, down in there, um, getting that stop was big. I mean, anytime you can get those big stops down in the tight red zone like RD did, uh, the momentum swings a little bit there, obviously. Um, I thought they played a hell of a game. Shane, you often talk about throw to score, run to win. So, yeah. what, what, how did it feel to have you know Job to Taylor and Anthony Richardson to be able to put away a game like this? When yeah, you no, it was big. It was big. Obviously, we had the Q power sweep there at the end, and then pounded in there with JT at the end, and then the four minute deal at the end, getting JT around the edge on a no moss situation, get down, get the first uh, to win. It was huge. Trey Sermon, I mean, he looks like he stopped, and they just you know, the entire team gets behind him, push him in there, through the yard. Yeah, it was awesome. It was great. We always talk about pushing the pile. Jim Bob does a hell of a job showing those clips in situational meetings, pushing the pile, and now we got a new one to show. You kind of, you kind of noticed it for everybody else. I saw you kind of try to break your forty time record going up the sideline. There, were you trying to make sure that they didn't whistle it dead? Oh, I don't even remember. I'm gonna go back and look at that. Was, was this a game your defense kind of needed just to, you know, I set think a tone? Game we all needed. You know what I mean? Starting 0 and 2 is always rough. You know what I mean? But you always, you know, got to get the first one, and we got it done today. And again, we got a lot of stuff to clean up, but to get the victory was huge for our guys. Can they come up with quarterback? He, he, he's really good on the deep stuff and the short stuff. Is it just technique? Is it footwork? What's we just keep working through it. We got to keep working through it. Um, again, I got all the confidence in the world in him. I always got to keep getting the repetitions and practice and keep keep getting it going. How much is that? And just sustaining the drives because it does feel like you're leaving some easy first downs out there. On yeah, the obviously it's big. Obviously getting completions is big. Um, but again, shoot, I, I'm, I'm the head coach. I got to do a better job of getting you know guys open. Me and Jim Bob, and we go from there. Coming up in that lot two coming up in that moment. Just yeah. what does that say about his preparation? His I mean, he was rolling pretty good all game, and he was getting close, close, and then uh, finally he got one uh, there at the end was huge. And then Jalen Jones to get the two interceptions, huge game for him. Um, so it was awesome to see for both those guys. The first interception that Anthony threw that play on the goal line. What are you guys looking for? Like, what's the? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll take that one. They, they played cover two there, and we're trying to get man down there. We're in big personnel. They played a shell defense. There was nothing open. That's all. It was tipped for one test for Yeah, right. but I mean, it didn't even matter. It's with, yeah, they, they they had a good defense called. So with Anthony, does it seem like at times he's intentionally trying not to run? Like there, there's, it seems like there's open lanes there and. He just wants to get rid of it, like with his arm. But he's like trying not to run. Does that yeah, make sense? Yeah, I don't know. I got to go back and look at that. I don't. I think when he has a lane, he'll take it. But I'll look at. I'll look at that. Coach Jalen, what was different about his game? This is kind of like a coming out game for him. Yeah, today. I mean, some of those things that just come around. You keep working, you keep grinding, and all of a sudden the ball finds you, and guys make plays. And uh, he did a hell of a job today making those plays for us. Does he have the, does he have the middle strength? I'm sure he does, but you tell me to deal with games in a row like this where he's yeah, not putting up great numbers. He's a young player, but he's super positive on the sidelines. I mean, every time she was, we have a bad series, he's like, we're good, we'll get it on the next drive. And you need that at the quarterback position for sure. So three games in, what, what do you think of Anthony? I know it just happened, but I mean, just what do you kind of, can you kind of put in context what you've seen from him so far? Well, I think he can create the big plays for us for sure. Um, obviously, young player, stuff to clean up. I could do a better job helping him um, on certain things, but. Um, long season ahead of us, and I'm looking forward to the progress each and every week. Right now in your run game, is it's the more consistent and effective side of things. I mean, do you feel comfortable like leaning into that, or do you feel like there has to be some balance with the pass too? Yeah, I, I think if we're running it good, obviously stick with the run. You know what I mean? And JT's running it good. I think we went for a 150 on the ground today. Um, but we got to sustain drives too. You know what I mean? we got to sustain drives throwing or running the football. we got to sustain drives, and it starts with myself. What did Jalen's two interceptions just do for the team as a whole momentum wise? It's huge. Anytime you get the takeaways, obviously you, get, you win the turnover battle, you got a good percentage of winning football games, and we did that today. We had three today. Um, but Jalen, uh, obviously being aggressive around the ball, making some big time plays. Obviously, the one on the sidelines getting two feet in there um, was huge. The other one almost went pick six, too, uh, which was big. So those guys are keep grinding, you keep working, you put in the preparation week in and week out, and uh, obviously it comes to fruition on Sundays. On the warm, there's a lot to be kind of decision. And yeah, he was working through that stuff. Yeah. What made you feel like he was ready? To well, he practiced on Friday, so we felt good about that. Um, see how his Friday practice went. And obviously, just getting his pregame warmups. Oh, good. Such a 
Williams right there, but Jalen Jones getting both feet in on both interceptions, like what did they say about the, the, the detail he puts into the clip? Yeah, no doubt. We talk about toe drag swag and uh, getting two feet in and uh, all those different things, but he did a hell of a job getting two feet in knowing where the sidelines was. What's that? <laughs> no, we'll keep that T-Bestin back. Last <laughs> one challenge, the, the roughing the kicker, did, or the punter. Did, mm -hmm. did you think, did you, just, you guys see evidence that maybe the guy tipped it? Yes.